Also, that's not me. Let's go. We take those. All right. Heretta is here at Her Grand Finals. Heretta is there. So this is a run back of winner semis. Matt far away. Yeah. Bro wanted it today. Oh my goodness. Trying to kill him right off the bat because, yeah. oh, we're still trying. He wants a reset. That fastball was really unfortunate because it looked like Heretta was trying to fastball to stage and then reset with something like a, I don't know, a down tilt or mm -hmm. whatever to catch the incoming second, third attempt at recovery. But fastball on too far, immediately lost that. But you're able to pick it up because of the read on the tech roll. Miss tech into roll in, into up smash, and Heretta Looking pretty good here to start off game number one of this grand finals. I will say I'm so proud of Heretta for not defaulting to Force Smash after the after Carful got hit by the gyro. Because you know they always want to go for you hit by gyro into Force Smash, boom, right. you're done. But he recognized, oh my god, he's continuing the roll, he's gonna continue attacking Ring out. I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna get the uh, smash. And that's it. He was so smart on that. Because a lot of them just default to Force Smash, boom. Yeah, you sometimes sometimes it's good to go based off instinct and not think thing and uh, not think things through and just like let uh, your awareness of the situation take over. Yep. Sometimes you gotta have that uh, moment of pause. Oh my goodness! Just like Carfo has had multiple times over, like these jump into side bees have been really well spaced, but he's spacing through each one and like trying to be aware of if each one connects, then to go for the next one, so he's not caught into too much whiff lag. <laughs> All right, nice like roll away from the gyro, but towards the stage, Harry wasn't quite ready for that one and uh, that moment, but now it's Carfo in the back and in the front seat, in the driver's seat, honestly kind of keeping Heretta in that nice sweet spot where it's like, I can catch you with side B, I can catch you with up air juggles for days, I can catch you on any roll-in with jab or with F tilt, but right now, Heretta is going to be being patient, <laughs> catching the landing on the platform with the up smash, and that'll be enough to reset the situation. You got body there, Carflo. Like, hold on. Like, the tech roll in onto the pivot grab, then the air dodge read onto the platform as well. All just two-fold read in order to close out the stock there from Heretta. And like he's looking really good here in this game one. But Carfo, ever explosive, still on his way back to double edge dance. Final hit misses. And then the it completely whiffs there as Carflo just keeps on hunting for the stock in that forward air, almost doing it. But not quite. Now we gotta work a little bit hard to finish out this stock because that's Heretta with a lot of momentum yeah, going yeah. there. We see it happen with that gyro into Nair. Oh, he went for the footstool. He went Ooh. for a down tilt runoff footstool there, which is something Definitely that. Uh, it's been something that Rob players have been experimenting off on fast fallers, and he just barely whiffed it because he had to go for the full combo across stage. Man, that's so, so tough. But then Heretta punish, getting punished for the gyro release mm -hmm. with a sweet spot up there. Good spacing on the part of Carflow there. Always one to charge in like a cannonball, and it paid off right there. This time it definitely paid off. I mean, you, sometimes it can be Carflow's downfall. You are too aggressive. You are going way too fast. You right. are getting caught in your habits of what Roar wants to do versus also what you want to do, right? But... Heretta, like you said, that last moment you saw the gyro come, come out, you saw the zero to death incoming, and then boom, unfortunately, from starting from all the way from the other side of the stage, you had to kind of modify it at the very last second. And that's where Carfo was able to, con to so smart. That was so good. So good. Great tracking. Um, just Carfo had to realize that. And now we are up one, winner side, Carflo over Heretta. Heretta has to get a 2 0 here or 2 1 here, then get the reset, and then, you know, hopefully win. Personally, I'm trying to go home, so. You know, personally. Well, pers personally, I prefer the end, but we'll have to see how it comes to if we'll get ourselves a, a Thursday Zeno or if Carfo will clean this up like he did the pr their previous set into 2 0 fashion, letting it charge, missing the Z catch, though, instead getting an air dodge to catch. That could have been so much more damage, but instead, Carfo was allowed to play his game and the oh, air wow. dodge getting. Bye. That's so unfortunate. I was about to say, I'm shocked that air dodge went right through the up air, like I, or the up tilt. I was, I was floored. Oh, okay, Tekken rolling in instead of out, learning from his first mistake of the pre previous game, living a little bit, living a little bit longer as well. Now, what we're gonna do? We gotta get off the stage, get stuffed out by the back air for a second there, but we're gonna pick it up with the forward air instead. Yeah, this back air, you, you gotta stop contesting it for a little bit. Your sword is long, but not that long. Oh, but good DI. 
Well, I and needed, needed the up tilt into up air, but was definitely concerned about if um, up tilt into up air would, con uh, would combo at this percent. It was totally valid, but instead, because you didn't take the gamble, you're eating 73 off of that simple misconfirm in a couple of uh, awkward situations. Carfo looking good. Just needs a grab here if you're Heretta, and the empty land will do it up throw into the up air, uh, down yep. throw into the up air there will confirm the stock. 73%. I like how Heretta has been taking their time a little bit more because you know they have these gyro combos in their back pocket, and those and they are so dangerous on top of playing the ground game so, so well. But, I mean, Carflow's value on hit has just been insane today, Mon. I know. I, he's been playing really well. I mean, that's why he's winner side grand, right? right? It's course, for a reason. Yeah. He's playing out of his mind. He took it over John. He took it over. Listen, he took over um, John. Heretta previously is a run back. He took it over Poke Hector and you. <laughs> so he's playing very, very well today. He's kind of on top of his game. Look, getting the tech or the lack of uh, tech in question and securing that that kill right there. Securing this second. Ah! No, you're fine. Securing two stocks for him and hopefully get a little bit extra credit as well. And we're, we're seeing that 20% are in the board. Not a lot, but it's a good start. All right, hunting. We'll see if Carfo is going to set up for it down here. He is, whether it was a sweet or sour spot. Sweet spot sends a spike uh, and you reset the situation. Sour spot confirms into back air. You see a couple upwards there on the platform from Carfo. God, this like a solid full hop game from Carfo nice. has just been so good. Playing the side switch very, very well. But Heretic guessing right on which side in order to find the down to tech chase. Always got to be careful with this Rob. Good tech roll in there. Never give Heretta the opportunity to get a landing there in the corner because that could spell demise. Yeah, you're seeing Carfo again. Learn from his first game. You don't want to roll out. You're going to be tech rolling in. No matter what you take, it's better than being killed at zero. 100%. So that's a trade that he's willing to take. And of course, with a little bit of, of power here, you're going to be seeing Heretta go off stage again. Carfo being the aggressor, trying to get less Trump, not getting the back air for, for, uh, though. Which unfortunate, but true. Oh, these roll-ins from Ooh. both sides are so careful, both trying to play the corner as well as possible. The gyro is gone now. <gasps> Stop. Oh, okay, the we're good. down tilt! Oh. The down tilt popped up and up and off as the blaze are out of shield. Um, Farmer's in a really bad spot right here. That might gone? be... Yes. yes, you are. We go to a game spot. number three. Bad spot all around. The instant I saw Carfo double jump in the air, I knew Heretta was going to be able to catch that second one. The second oh, yeah. up air. Damn. Tough break, but we'll head right back into it. Game number three. Seeing Heretta and, uh, take his first game off of Carflow today. And what might be... Cause I know I didn't take a game off. Oh, no. John took a game. Uh, Poke Hector and Numbers took a game off of Carflow today. So, you know, there's been, there's been healthy competition throughout, but you got to make sure that you... Make uh, not just take games, you gotta take sets. That's why we play best of threes and not five. And not we fives. have yeah. work tomorrow because we are people in the world that have things to do, people to see, places to go, children to teach. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'd be doing. Carfo perfectly pairing these nairs is so imperative, but when you are getting hit by these down smashes from Heretta. It's 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 becoming a very scary game, especially when you're also being forced into this positioning on the ledge, where it's like, damn, I keep getting pushed to the ledge, I keep getting pushed into the air. This time I'm gonna travel. Emma's gonna take you a side B off on the ledge. Jab side B is I don't something. Know how he does it? It's um, it's Crom's equivalent of jab forward smash. Uh huh. And while jab forward smash is a little bit more consistent in theory, because Roy can do it too, but just sometimes you'll get sour spot. Jab side B works so well on big bodies, which honestly is who you want it to work on anyway, because bigger bodies typically means bigger weight, and you'll have to you'll get to erase those stocks that much quicker. Exactly, and as we're saying that though, Heretta is at a really good spot percentage-wise, where it's not death yet. But Carfo is at that death percentage. He has a really good start for Heretta to start something going here. But with Carfo at the helm and Ooh. being the aggressor. Oh, that's so oh unfortunate. Heretta trying to play around the deep edge guard there from Carfo and find some sort of reversal, but just fell too far. That's that's tough. And now Carfo is. He is oh, game no, eight. He is, he is in the zone. He got what he needed. He, needs that, he got that extra stock kind of like cushion to do whatever he wants. He knows he's in the lead. He knows he's getting a lot of good extra credit just off of Heretta 
one looking the wrong way for a laser, not getting the dark combos that he's been looking for because Carfo is rolling in the right way. A lot of small things are adding up that's not letting Heretta get the win that he really wants right now. Trying to fight. Good spacing on the part of Heretta though, still trying to make a uh, make a way back into this game. Rob has definitely plenty of needs to close out stocks very, very quickly. Carfo doing some spacing of his own here, tr not trying to fall, throw that roll in. But a good tech in there from Carfo. As we were saying earlier, just sometimes you just gotta take the tech in, take the hit, but you know you're surviving still at 137. All right, get the forest whoa, throw, whoa, whoa. get the deep. Oh, you were nobody was ready for that oh, one. Oh no, Her Her forest throw into drop down, yeah. turn around, back, yeah, back up, boomerang. Off of, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna back up off and onto the platform. And then go. And then we're, we're going to pause. We're going to pause. Okay, we're going to turn and around. We're going to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> no, grace of the car flow for just kind of, you know, clearing it out. You know, game the game. It, you saw game two. It was in Carvel's favor. And then Herbert was like, I'm Rob. And yeah. then he won. So then it's like game three. Carvel couldn't play any games. Carfo had to stay with the game plan, had to stay with the Roy, had to be aggressive, had to make sure we knew what happened game one, game two, and apply that adaptation beautifully and he did and he did a very unfair thing which is run off as roy and yeah run off as roy and just kill me yeah <laughs> just go and right. you, you're not gonna get that as rob not as Hereda. it hasn't happened once the entire game hasn't you know you're not conditioned for it boom yeah and you're not rob, ready for attack rob's not a character you've traditionally edge guard super effectively but just applying that pressure and having that buffer like hey i want to go and like i'm going to get on your case to see what you do about my pressure. And when you're off stage like that, the only thing you can do is react properly, yep. either to air dodge or to tech it. And Heretta caught completely off guard. Great there, uh, final play, saving that in his back pocket. Carflow getting a second Zeno in a row in here. In a row, let's go! Congratulations to Carflow for winning Zeno 298. W. You know what that means? For first of all, W. w. Second of all, that means that we are only two weeks away from Xeno 300. It's like slightly transparent. You can see my hand. It's really funny. Xeno 300 is July 5th. It is in two weeks. Is 15 dollar in total. Eight dollar venue. Eight seven dollar entry. There are there are player bounties. I believe numbers one of them. Fawn, Vivi as well. I want to say Gen 2 might be the kind. But I think Gen is also one of the bounties. So. You want some kind of, you want to take part in that, you know, you want to get some money from some high seed players. Come on down, uh, July 5th for Xeno 300. Yeah, then we have the Xeno Weeklies that still happen and will continue to happen both next week, one, the uh, pre, the week before 300, 299, and then all the way up to 400 and beyond. Every single Wednesday, fifteen dollar for ven eight for venue, seven for entry here at 21 Ludlow Street, and you can catch all of the action here on twitch.tv slash house 3000 and register immediately after this event is done you can register tomorrow for the next one at start gg slash xeno and of course you want to register this weekend for another big event we do have the xeno arcade happening this saturday june 24th 15 dollars in total unranked players only if you are pr goodbye if you got a second place or better at a xeno goodbye if you got fourth place or better in anywhere in tri-state goodbye you are not invited but I believe you may come to coach. Yes. I believe. Coaching is yep. allowed and is honestly encouraged because that is the point of Arcadians. But if you're not interested in some... Sm oh, okay. Hold on. We, we got we got cycled over. If you're not always interested in some Smash, whether it be the Arcadians or what's going on every single week, then House is providing a Street Fighter VI Swiss bracket this weekend as well. Not the Arcadian Saturday, but the Sunday after starting at 2 p.m., right here at 21 Ludlow Street. So take advantage of that of that Street Fighter 6 action that's happening. Get all of the cool Tri-State Street Fighter heads coming and participate in some last man standing event. And last but certainly not least, please, please go support House 2000 on all their platforms. None. Not Twitter. On Facebook, on Twitch, and on YouTube where VODs are uploaded literally as soon as possible. And for quad stream, it'll be uploaded again by tomorrow, uh, at hopefully at the earliest. Now, Twitch, subscribe with Twitch Prime for free or subscribe for $4.99 a month. It's very easy, very simple. It helps them out a lot, especially with, you know, what's what's been going on. You know, you, you know the vibe. You, yeah. you, if you're with us, you know the vibe. So again, support House 2000, support Devin for all his endeavors on the tablets, support Zill, support Hubbard, support, you know, John Numbers, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. 
Make sure to follow at uh, Devin3000 or at uh, uh, Helper's Twitch, which I don't remember, Twitter, which I don't remember what it is. The underscore the helper, underscore helper with for, no E yeah, with, between P and ER. P and for R. all of the house updates so we can get their follower account skyrocketing because it's funny and you can get all of the action and updates for house related events and cycling. That is what uh, that is the end here tonight. Carful wants oh. an interview. Purple one's in here. Okay, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys are trying. <laughs> yeah, go, I gotta, go, go. I gotta go. I'll bully this one. Come okay. here. Good night first. Okay, yeah. We're, I'm, go gonna be, I'm gonna be passing off to Carflo for an interview because it's funny. And, uh, you know, at UB also on Twitter. And you can catch me uh, later. Have a good, have a good night. Get yep. safe. Carflo, get over here. We want. <laughs> Want me to ask you things? Yeah. Want me? Want me? Questions. You want me? You want to feel special? Yeah. Okay. I how wanna. You, how you feel about winning about, about two zeros in a row? Back to back. Yeah. Just like back Drake. To back. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> 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 so how does it feel winning two zeros back to back, back? Back to back. Good. Um. Yeah. It's good. Just improving all the time. Just trying to improve. Trying to get better. Mhm. Mm and then the results show. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The results do show. That you played exceptionally well. You beat John earlier today. You beat Peretta. You beat Heretta twice, first of all. <laughs> Yo, I always play Heretta now. I don't know. Like, you guys gotta stop losing to Heretta, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You know, Heretta was just playing really well today, and then suddenly, boom, he got he hit you twice, and you know, he gotta hold that sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, you see, I don't know what to ask you because this is so impromptu. I I wanted to interview because ever since I was a kid, like dreaming about Smash. You want to be interviewed. I, I wanted to win a tournament and then get interviewed. And I won a couple tournaments, but I've never been interviewed. Well, so. you're being interviewed by me, so yes. it's okay. Um, what do you do? So, for things like Roy and Krom, right? What do what determines certain matchups where you go Krom versus Roy? Because I know for numbers, you specifically go Roy. I'm uh, not Roy, Krom. But for others, like for Heretta, you'll go Roy. So what is your parameters for choosing, picking, picking and choosing who to go? Um, the main difference about those two carries is that I always want, whenever I pick Krom, I always want the extra range. Yep, that makes so, sense. So, against like lame characters like that wants to stay away from me, like Numbers, like <laughs> Vivi, like Fawn, it's Krom. <laughs> this shade is crazy. Yeah. Alright, uh, let me ask you one more question and then we're gonna head out because I want to go home. I'm mm -hmm. sure you want to eat too. Yeah. So, regardless. um. Another big reason is because I di jer very effectively, but it doesn't work against yeah. Chrome. This is not the your interview. <laughs> oh my god! I but hate it's true. I hate having tippers on Roy because mm -hmm. they do nothing, and with Chrome I don't have to deal with that. This jab back here, even max range, you di right, you still die. Mm, yeah, that's true, that's true. I need that. Um, I think I'm gonna ask a very general question. So basically, what do you do? What's your training regimen like? Like how you practice matchups, how you practice um, certain, because you're really good at conversions, really really good at those. You're good at finding an opportunity where like, oh, I got back here by accident. Well, bet I'm just gonna use that and somehow get a side B off off yeah. ledge from that. So how do you train for that kind of stuff? How do you prepare, research, whatever? That's just like, that's just your fundamentals. Like the more you play, the more you get better. The longer you play, you know. And then my practice. When I was like coming up, I would try to. Anytime I would lose, I would record the set if it was all stream. Like I would yeah. bring out my phone, like save the replay and then record the set, and then watch that afterwards. See what I can do better. Like why I got why I got hit. Why am I like losing a stock? And right now I'm just. I don't play Wi-Fi because I don't know. Why you shouldn't. It's okay. Yeah, like once I get on <laughs> Wi-Fi, like my fundamentals disappear. Like I'm losing to I'm losing to Elite Smash, like Zelda, or I don't know. It's self care. It's, it's self care. Yeah. And I tr I try to practice on like record and Wi-Fi. Like mm -hmm. you still it's, it's still hard. Because, it's like, hard. Yeah. The second I'm on Wi-Fi, or maybe it's like my house. Like if I'm in my house, like my fundamentals no, just go away. No, it's the it's it's the the Wi-Fi. It's the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, that shit is ass. Yeah, it's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Trash. Um, that's kind of all I have for you. John, do you have anything you want to interject? I have a question for him. No? No numbers for me, John? That's what, what? I'm saying. You know, we play a lot, me and John. And like, he doesn't say anything about it. No questions. Nothing. No, John no trying a, to get any secrets. I don't understand, John. 
I don't know. I just internalized yeah, everything he I want to say. I'd be asking him questions like, what do you think about the game? Like, don't you dislike Steve and Kazi? Like, how he's broken okay. they are? No, he's and he's fine. like, I just like playing the game, man. I no, do I just neutral the towards game. a lot of things. God. I don't know. I don't understand him. There's, how about you? There's such a thing as being it. neutral. <laughs> yeah, we play we fit. So anyway. Oh, no, he's weird. A little weird, but it is what it is, ain't what it ain't. Thank you for the interview, very impromptu. Next time, I need to be warned. Because <laughs> I do interviews all the time, but like, yeah. I wasn't ready. Um, that's it for Zeno. Go follow Carflow at Carflow underscore uh, on Twitter, where he is, the, he, he, he did the Steve band. So he's a very, very prominent figure now. Um, go follow me on Twitter at Montana with an extra A. And that's it, I'm tired. Free house! Free house! Free house! Free house! Free house in 2000. All right, that's Unbanned enough. Unbanned house from Twitter. It's never going to happen unless you... Anyway. Believe. Unless you believe, unless you go literally go to Elon Musk's house and ask him personally. But regardless, that's all for Xeon 298. Congratulations on winning again for second green in a row. Let's see if we can do a third one at Brooklyn, hopefully. Back to so, back. Back to back, back to back. Or Smash Island. You going to Smash Island? Yes. All right, hopefully we get a win at Smash Island. So that's it. Um, good night. Pasta la vista, baby.